Over the years, the world of video games has given birth to some of the finest horror experiences in the world, giving players more immersion, scares and freedom to make right or wrong choices than any other medium on planet Earth. Recently, some games have truly amped up the terror, with the likes of Resident Evil 7 and Outlast seeing players hiding behind sofas in their thousands. I do not wish to join the family, thank you! But what if you just can't handle all of that stress? The big spookums in games like Alien Isolation and Amnesia are great, but they aren't for everyone, and some would prefer to enjoy an atmospheric, creepy affair without losing any sleep. For this list, we've handpicked some of the finest light spoops that video gaming has to offer, so that the next time you're in the mood for a bit of horror, you you can do so without ruining your favourite trousers. I'm the moderately frightening Ben from Triple Jump, and here are 10 slightly spooky games for people that don't like big scares. Number 10. Until Dawn. We're kicking off this list with a game that probably ranks at about a 4 out of 10 on the spook scale, and whilst yes, Until Dawn does have a couple of jump scares that may catch you off guard, for the most part it's a highly atmospheric teen horror peppered with supernatural elements that probably won't give you nightmares. The story follows a group of teenagers as they revisit the snowy mountain cabin where their two friends went missing a year prior. The whole idea is to try and keep them all alive, you guessed it, until dawn. But with unknown entities stalking their every move, that's easier said than done. The whole thing plays out like an interactive movie, so whilst you are expected to guide your characters along the linear path, most of the action plays out in quick decisions and QTEs. Take care not to choose an option too quickly, however, because one wrong move can be the difference between life and death. Don't get us wrong, Until Dawn is not a family-friendly affair, so we don't recommend giving it to little ones. but if you don't mind the odd bit of gore and occasional sudden spooking, this one might just be right up your street. Number 9. Hello Neighbor Growing up, we've all known someone whose behaviour is a little weird, and our unchecked imaginations may have had us wondering just what exactly is going on behind closed doors. Maybe they're kidnapping people and holding them hostage. Or worse, perhaps they're taking them down to their cellar never to be seen again. After all, you didn't see that plumber leave after he went to fix that leaky water tank. Serial killer confirmed. This is the basic premise of Dynamic Pixel's 2017 survival horror, Hello Neighbor. In the game, you play as Nicky Roth, a young boy whose morbid curiosity gets the better of him when he hears screams coming from the titular neighbor's basement. Overtaken by a desire to unravel the mystery, he ventures into the house and must solve a series of puzzles in order to get into the underground lair. If the neighbor gets a hold of you, you're sent right back to your own home, so it's crucial that you don't let him catch sight of you. The game itself isn't scary in the traditional sense, there's no horrific monsters and no gore, but it will invoke that tense feeling of being a kid and sneaking into somewhere you shouldn't be. Now, time to find out what secret he's been hiding. Oh, it's just a Billy Ray Walrus shrine. Well, that's disappointing, I've got a few of those. Number 8. Layers of Fear If you want to know what's in store for you with Layers of Fear, just imagine going to a haunted house in which the only terrors are the ones created by your own mind. Set in the 1920s, the game weaves the story of an unnamed artist as he strives to create his magnum opus, the greatest painting of his career. It soon becomes clear, however, that not all is well as his mind begins to unravel before him. Players must traverse the seemingly endless rooms and corridors of the house and piece together what's actually happened to the painter and his family, all the while battling the protagonist's fractured psyche. Though there are one or two jump scares dotted throughout the game, Layers of Fear mostly uses its darkly gothic atmosphere to create a sustained feeling of anxiety in its audience. Whilst there is a small amount of dread in not knowing what's going to be behind the next door, players will largely just feel ill at ease as they piece the whole mystery together. You certainly won't have a pleasant time playing Layers of Fear, but you'll find yourself pressing forward regardless, desperate to work out just what the hell has gone on. Number 7. Alan Wake if you're a fan of the works of Stephen King but have always wanted to experience his style in a video game, then look no further than 2010's Alan Wake. Although the misery writing master of horror had very little to do with the game's development, his broad body of works was a huge inspiration for the title. In terms of gameplay, Alan Wake is presented in episodic format, with each chunk playing out like a television show. The story follows the eponymous writer, Alan, as he tries to work out what's happened to his missing wife, all whilst elements of his latest novel come to life around him. A darkness is taking over the town's population, and Alan must make use of the little light available to him in order to drive it out. 
The game draws heavily not only from the novels of Stephen King, but also from writers like Brett Easton Ellis and Neil Gaiman, filmmakers such as Alfred Hitchcock, and TV shows The Twilight Zone and Twin Peaks. Put simply, if you enjoy your psychological thrillers and get a kick out of mystery, suspense, and just a dash of the supernatural, then Alan Wake is going to be the perfect title for you. Number 6. Limbo Whilst a rich, complex plot is a necessity for some games, when it comes to titles like Limbo, the greatness is actually in all of the things that the game implies and leaves you to work out by yourself. There are few games simpler, both visually and narratively, than 2010's Limbo, in which a young boy must journey through a series of monochromatic environments in order to find his sister. It's never made clear if the sister is alive or dead, nor is it explained whether the boy's search for her is real or metaphorical. It's down to you, the player, to interpret events for yourself. You won't find any jump scares or gore in Limbo, but rather a slowly encroaching sense of dread that stems from the emptiness of your surroundings. Enemies don't leap out at you, but will emerge slowly from the side of the screen, their nightmarish presence a constant reminder of how alien this world is and how much you don't belong. Limbo isn't the sort of game that's going to frighten you out of your wits. Instead, it will leave you feeling a little empty and uneasy, and whilst it won't render you afraid to go to sleep, you may just lie awake at night contemplating the whole experience and wondering what it all meant. Number 5. Luigi's Mansion Series should you ever find yourself desperate for a title with spooky themes, but are completely scare intolerant, then perhaps a trip to Luigi's Mansion is exactly what the Doctor ordered. Though set primarily in various haunted locations, the vibe of the series is more akin to the likes of the Addams Family, focusing on the darkly kooky and the humorously macabre rather than on frightening the audience. Each entry into the series follows the titular Luigi as he searches for his brother Mario, who on every occasion has been snatched by King Boo. You'd think after the first couple of times he'd be a bit more diligent but who are we to judge? It's King Boo! Look at him! Whoa, what a specimen! Though the setting is dark and creepy, the games retain a similar tone and sense of humour to the rest of the Mario franchise. The threat throughout is mild, so while you can expect to face off against a bunch of not-so-friendly ghosts, the fact that you can best them with a slightly modified vacuum cleaner and a torch should tell you all you need to know about how much danger they actually pose. And if this is still too scary for you, well, I don't know what to suggest. Maybe try Stardew Valley? Number 4. Costume Quest For some people, the best part of Halloween is staying in, pretending they're not at home, and munching on all of the fun-sized Mars bars that they had originally bought for any trick or treaters that might drop by. Others, however, much prefer to get out and about on All Hallows' Eve, and that means dressing up. Sadly, wandering your neighbourhood on any other night of the year wrapped head to foot in toilet paper and begging for sweets is considered a bit weird, so if you feel the need to recreate that October the 31st feeling on any of the other 364 days of the year, then why not try your hand at Costume Quest? In this adorable RPG, players must embark on an adventure to save their sibling after they're kidnapped by an evil monster. The protagonist, either Reynold or Ren, depending on which child you chose, can explore the neighbourhood to find quests, the completion of which will reward them with clues to their sibling's whereabouts, candy which can be used as currency, or costumes that will upgrade their combat abilities. Like the Luigi's Mansion series, Costume Quest issues the real spooks in favour of a more family-friendly approach, capturing the fun and wonder of Halloween rather than the darker side of the holiday. Has anyone got any Gaviscon? I've eaten too much candy porn. Again? Number 3. The Room Before you get too excited, no, it's not that The Room. Unfortunately, Tommy Wiseau has nothing to do with this one. Don't get too disheartened, though, because despite lacking the creative input of one of the world's finest writers slash directors slash actors, The Room, the game, is a moderately creepy puzzler for anyone who's ever enjoyed an escape room. Though its runtime is decidedly short, what it lacks in longevity it more than makes up for in brilliant brain teasers. The puzzles themselves are neither too straightforward nor too obtuse, so while some will have you scratching your head for a while, once you work out the solution you'll be kicking yourself that you didn't see it sooner. The premise is simple. You've been summoned to an old house, and within it there is a locked box containing a secret. There is a degree of narrative that can be pieced together from the notes you find, but it plays second fiddle to the overall enigma of what's in the box. Rather than being simply incidental, the dark, gothic setting of the room makes the mystery all the more intriguing as you slowly fathom out the truth. Trust us when we say you'll feel like one smart cookie when you finally bust this whole thing wide open. Number 2. Night in the Woods What's this? I hear you cry. A game with adorable cartoon creatures on a list about spooky titles? Ben, have you lost your mind? 
Don't be fooled by Night in the Woods' cute, cuddly exterior though, dear viewer, because although the characters and art style may be reminiscent of other colourful, happy indie titles, the game is actually quite dark, exploring themes of kidnap, mental health, and subterranean god-worshipping cults. Ooh. The story follows Mae Borowski, a college dropout who returns to her hometown to find that one of her old friends has mysteriously disappeared. As she and her anthropomorphic pals investigate, however, she begins to experience strange dreams, her mental health deteriorating with each one. The juxtaposition of the charming artwork with the serious themes is highly unsettling as your eyes tell you that you should be having a lovely, wholesome time whilst everything else is gloomy and troubling. Though not scary in the way that some other games on this list are, though nothing on this list is that scary, that's the whole point, it's still a creepy and weird experience, peppered with dark humour that'll scratch the spookums itch for anyone that wishes Animal Crossing caused them more existential crises. Number 1. Little Nightmares they say that good things come in small packages, but as it turns out, said pint-sized parcels can also be vessels for all of the things that go bump in the night. Little nightmares, if you will. Developed by Tarsia Studios, the people that contributed to the bright, colourful romp Little Big Planet, Little Nightmares is all of the things you lost sleep over as a kid condensed into a game you can complete in one evening. Don't be put off by its size, however, because even though the game clocks in at a teeny tiny three to four hours in length, in that time it packs in a hell of a lot of spooks. The story follows Six, a little girl that must escape a huge vessel filled with abominable creatures by platforming and puzzling her way out. The player is reliant almost entirely on stealth, as Six's size renders her incapable of fighting back against enemies, so your only real option is to hide and hope for the best. If your own helplessness doesn't get under your skin, then the overwhelmingly creepy atmosphere of the game certainly will, whether it's the artwork reminiscent of spooky childhood tales, or the sound design that balances an ominous soundtrack with environmental noises and deafening silence to terrifying effect. Though it may take you only an evening to make it through little nightmares, it's sure to stick with you for a long time after. 